Glad you're with us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jackie Cooper, and starting right now, it's the people's choice. In this show, I meet some choice people, particularly a very beautiful young lady, and she's single, too. She has two million dollars, one marked his and one marked hers. So come on along, strictly for laughs. Quiet, Cleo. Hello, Kat. Thanks for sending all those nice fan letters. Next time, send meat. <laughs> the People's Choice. Starring Jackie Cooper. Won't be long now. Look, Suck, look. I captured all her personality. Hmm? Pierre, I think you've got it licked. Her eyes, her mouth. You caught her expression perfectly. <laughs> hey, you even gave her a wet nose. Oh, that was the most difficult. With the ears, I had no trouble. But her nose was the hardest thing to lick. <laughs> it's beautiful, Pierre. Thanks. I think I'll hang it in my room. You're a crazy, mixed up kid. You wouldn't prefer a beautiful girl hanging in there? Yeah. But remember once I had to choose between a beautiful girl and Cleo? And I chose Cleo? I'm glad I did. Cleo's cheaper to support. He's right. I grow my own fur coat. <laughs> I worried that he'd get married to the wrong girl. Like that time a few years ago. Sock had just gotten out of the Marines after two years in Korea. His Aunt Gus had hauled their trailer to San Francisco to meet him. She was baking a cake for his homecoming. All of us here at the San Francisco Animal Shelter feel that some kind-hearted soul will want to own this combination of uh, wire-haired terrier, schnauzer, and Boston Bull. <laughs> Not, don't wake me. Oh, put me down, darling. I'm heavy. You're still five pounds lighter than an army nurse. Oh. <laughs> oh. Gosh, it's only a trailer, but I wouldn't trade it for the Taj Mahal. You kept everything looking the same. A man gush a homemade cake. I didn't expect you till tonight. Pierre was going to paint your picture on it with frosting. Is old Pierre up here? That moocher followed me all the way from Albuquerque. He hitched his trailer to this one. Oh, good old Pierre. I can't wait to see him. You will. He'll smell this. Hello, Sock. May I come in? Gus, listen. Sock! Sock, Pierre! Oh, yes, Pierre. Oh, Socky. How happy I am to see I can't even talk. Uh, just a little piece for me. Oh, 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 yeah. oh I almost forgot. I blew the bankroll. <laughs> oh, dog. Oh, sock. Even then, I was a doll. <laughs> Cute little character, isn't she? I'll take good care of her. Oh, I'm afraid she already belongs to someone, Aunt Gus. Oh? But I got a beautiful present for you. A niece. Oh, sock. You're married. Congratulations, you won. Oh, no, wait. Thanks, thanks. But I'm not married yet. May I be the first one to congratulate Her name is Barbara Andrews. I met her here in San Francisco at a canteen dance, just before I shipped out. Here's what she looks like. I had to admit, she was pretty, too. <laughs> oh. Oh, Sock, she's lovely. But how well do you know each other? Oh, you can get to know a lot about each other in letters. I must have read each one of these a hundred times. No wonder the war took so long. <laughs> <laughs> and I got word from the Bureau of Wildlife that I got my old job back. Oh. Right after the wedding, we're going up to Oregon on our honeymoon. My first assignment is up there, collecting specimen eggs of the black-crested chickadee. 
Collecting eggs, huh? Sounds like a delightful honeymoon. You see, Cleo. Oh, thought I love her name. <laughs> well, young lady, you got here just in time for the nuptials. I didn't know what nuptials meant, but the scratching felt good. <laughs> When's the wedding? The wedding? Oh, I don't know. Tonight I was going to ask her if she'd marry me. Hey, what if she doesn't say yes? I guarantee she will say yes. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I danced with you every night, even while I was lying in the mud. I felt your arms around me. Uh, you eat the minestrone, please? One night I stepped on your foot. Oh, I liked it. Look, it's late. I gotta eat it, too. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you're back in my arms. Look, the minestrone, it's a cold now. Darling, for two years I've been rehearsing something I wanted to ask you. Only in my dreams we were always sitting down. For this, I need a table to hold on to. Barbara, I'll, I'll come right to the point. Of course I'll marry you. Tell me. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. I understand. You want time to think it over. Wake up. I said yes. Hmm? Hope I'm not intruding. Hello, Dad. Yeah? She, she, she wants to marry me. Hmm. I asked Dad to join us. I wanted him to meet you. Oh, oh, how do you do, sir? How do you do? <laughs> well, uh, uh, sit down. <laughs> she, she, uh, sit down, uh, son. She said yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Yes. So, you're Socrates, thank you. You're Socrates Miller, huh? Eh? She, she said yes. You have your father's instinct for people. I like you. Oh, th thank you, Mr. Andrews. Dad. Dad. <laughs> Say, while we're all together, I'd like you to meet my aunt. She's been like my mother and father. All right, Dad? Oh, delighted. Delighted. Good. <laughs> you know, honey, I knew when you're selecting a husband, you'd pick a winner. Oh, thank you, sir. Well, come along, children. I have the car outside. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. They mean it's Oh, it, it was delicious. She said yes. <laughs> Have a cookie, baby. I wasn't hungry. I'd just eaten her new hat. <laughs> Come on, Cleo. You're a surprise package. Hey, Gus, we got company. Are you all right, sir? <laughs> Everybody does that the first time. <laughs> well, how do you like it? Look here. Running water, hot and cold, and a TV set. Over here, a stall shower. Very charming. No daughter of mine is going to marry a gypsy. I'll handle it. Come on in. I want you to meet Barbara. And this is my aunt, Augusta Bennett. This is Barbara. Was I right? I'll say you were. How are you, dear? Hello. And this is her father, Mr. Andrews. How do you do, Mr. Andrews? How do you do? Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara just said yes an hour ago. Sock is a lucky man. Right after we're married, we're hitching up and taking off for Oregon. Okay, beautiful? Now I understand. You bought this thing for our honeymoon. Oh, ch charming. Well, that's a splendid idea for our honeymoon. 
two youngsters rolling along the highway and every night stopping at some fine hotel. <laughs> when you get back, you can sell this contraption. Oh, but, Dad, we're going to live in it. Live in it? This will be our home. Uh, I'm going back to Rhode Island to live with my sister. It's very nice, but isn't everything so, so confined? Darn right it is, but you'll catch on. Just don't slam this cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Happens every time. <laughs> <laughs> Better sit down, Mr. Andrews, you'll be safer. I'll get you a nice piece of homemade cake. Thank you. I, uh, I had planned to buy you and Barbara a house. Oh? Well, many people live in houses. Oh, well, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. But we'll need the trailer in my work. Your work? Yes. Right after we're married, we're going to Oregon. I have to check on the eggs of the black-crested chicken eat. <laughs> the... Did you know about this? Didn't you tell him? You see, I follow the birds. <laughs> For the Bureau of Wildlife. Oh. I wasn't sure you definitely made up your mind. Oh, I wrote you, honey. Dad, people think very highly of ornithologists. Even let them vote. My boy, I have nothing against chickadee eggs or any other eggs. Uh, birds will make you a fine hobby. Oh, it's not a hobby, sir. I studied biology for four years. And in two years, I hope to have my Ph.D. Well, I'm a trustee of several colleges. We'll get it for you in six months. <laughs> Anyhow, you'll have very little time for fooling around when you go to work for me in my factory. Factory? Yes, Barbara told you about it. Didn't you? I was going to tell you about the job, but while well, we were dancing, and I just didn't get a chance to. You, uh... You've heard of Lady Genevieve hair curlers. I am Lady Genevieve. <laughs> Lady Genevieve? You've been in my hair for years, Jenny. <laughs> uh, here is a gold bobby pin with my compliments. Yes, we make all kinds of beauty aids. Son, you are coming into the family at the right time. We need a bright young man in false eyelashes. Oh, well, sir, I don't want to be in false eyelashes or cuticle removers or wrinkle rubber outers. I'm checking on chickadees. And I hope you'll be with me. Well. Well, Dad, we're all tired. Why don't we talk about it later? Very well. I, I hope you'll excuse me for sounding off, sir, but I'm sure you'd want me to say what I think. Good night, Miller. Good night, Dad. Mr. Andrews. We'll talk about it tomorrow. All right, honey. A nice meeting you, Miss Bennett. Thank you. Good night, Sock. Good night. Nice to have met you, madam. Thank you. She didn't even kiss him goodnight, but I did.